you have said to me that you want to go because you want to back the Mike Lees and the Ted Cruz's, um, I would put one, a third person in that category that, you know, that needs backup. Um, it is Mike Lee, Ted Cruz, and Rand Paul, but Rand um, has um, um, endorsed Mitch McConnell, and I, I have Rand on the radio tomorrow, and I'm going to ask him why he was, why he's doing that, but um, can you, are, are you going to back him up if you are the, uh, the junior senator? No, oh, absolutely. I, I think the world of Rand. I, I voted for Rand in the primary. I voted for him in the general. I personally maxed out to him. I was there when his dad and, and Jim the Mint came to the state to support him. I was there when Sarah Palin came to support him. I was with him every step of the way on his journey, and I'm glad for the opportunity to have supported him. I think he's doing a terrific job. He endorsed McConnell before I got in this race. Uh, he's sticking with that. But he's one vote, Glenn, and he'll go into the voting booth on May 20th. He'll vote one time. Uh, and the people of Kentucky who ultimately coalesced behind him, they're all supporting me already. Uh, and they'll go in and vote their respective number of times, and I'm feeling good about how that will play out. Well, I, I have nothing to back this up other than my own gut. Rand can say whatever he wants, but I bet you when he goes into the voting booth, he'll be pulling the lever for you. Um, look, John, he endorsed McConnell before I got in this race. John, he endorsed McConnell before I got in this race. Show you this one right here. Okay, so now we're on Daily Caller. And this article is from 327-2013. Okay, 327. Daily Caller has learned that Kentucky Senator Rand Paul is endorsing Senator Mitch McConnell for re-election in 2014. Okay, so this is the day he endorsed him. Right? March 27th. March 27th, 2013. That's when he endorsed McConnell. And what does it say in here? It says, just as Paul's campaign manager through the 2010 primaries and other Tea Party leaders to mount a primary challenge against McConnell. So right there, he didn't have a primary challenger. Right here. It says right here. I was there a couple hundred Lexington Republicans. I chatted briefly with Rand for a few minutes, but it was an exclusive one-on-one -on -one kind of meeting. Adams told the DC, the Daily Caller, that he's still hopeful that a Tea Party wing of the party can field a challenger to McConnell. So McConnell was unopposed when Rand Paul endorsed him. 